shit. Oh shit. Oh. I know I ain't even told y'all what I'm talking about yet, but oh. Hey, bro, as y'all know, I just started watching the Harry Potter movies because I hadn't seen the whole series before. I watched The Goblet of Fire yesterday. Oh, damn. Hey, bro, what is happening, bro? Now, listen, listen. Y'all know I love movies where the main characters suffer, bro. I'm sorry. I know that sounds crazy and sadistic, but I love movies and shows where the main character go through some shit. And boy, is this nigga Harry going through some motherfucking shit. God damn. Hey, bro, let me jump into my list of things to call out so I don't run out of time. Hey, bro, first and foremost... Death Eaters is a hard-ass group name. Now listen, I know we don't fuck with them niggas, but let's just keep it a buck. Let's call a spade a spade. Death Eaters is a tough-ass name. Hey, second, bro, what happened to my nigga Ron this movie, bro? This ain't the Ron I know. This ain't the Ron I love. This man hating. He jealous. He talking to Harry crazy, bro. He making women uncomfortable. And you know what, bro? Aside from the making women uncomfortable part, I could deal with all of that shit, bro. But... This nigga was dirty macking, bro, and I, I gotta draw the line at that, bro. Anytime you gotta talk down on another man to get a woman, bro, you lose all your respect for me, bro. I swear to God. Hey, bro, next, can a 14-year-old legally sign a contract and be held accountable for it? Because listen, bro, that nigga Harry ain't got no parents. They dead as fuck. So what do they mean that he's bound to this contract by the Goblet of Fire, bro? That doesn't make sense. He's a kid. Next, bro. Are Ron and Hermione a thing? Did I, like, miss that? I didn't even realize that was, like, going on, you know what I'm saying? Until he started hating on my man, Victor. Hey, next, man. So Snape was a spy against Voldemort? Bro, is this nigga evil or not, bro? I don't understand. And next, bro. Why does Dumbledore have a bowl filled with all of his memories? Like, in what context do you use that? If anything, nigga, just put the wand to your head and make yourself remember. Like, I don't understand. Hey, this man Barty Cross Jr. gives me Hunter Biden vibes, all right? Now, hear me out, okay? This man dad trying to hold shit together, and he backdooring trying to fuck everything up, bro. And he looked like a meth addict, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, always sweating and shit, bro. He made me uncomfortable the whole movie. Uh, next, bro, it doesn't seem appropriate for Moaning Myrtle to be in a bathtub with Harry. Ain't she like 30, 40-something years old? I mean, do ghosts age? Hey, Harry must feel like a real piece of shit telling that man Cedric to grab the goddamn goblet with him, bro. Nigga, he could still be alive. That's kind of on you, bro. Oh, bro, bro, Peter Pettigrew killing Robert Pattinson, bro. Listen, bro, I was waiting. I was waiting for them to bring him back to life the whole movie. Nigga, they did it, bro. That nigga is dead, dead, bro. I was like, whoa, they killing kids now? Which reminds me, bro. Why is 14 too young to die in a school tournament? But once you turn 17, they like, fuck it, bro. He could die. Who gives a fuck? Hey, another question, bro. So if you kill somebody with a spell, their soul goes into your wand? And if that's the case, then why did Cedric's spirit come out of Voldemort's wand? Didn't Peter Pettigrew kill him? Hey, bro, Lucius Malfoy is a Death Eater, bro. Come on, bro. Listen, I know we don't like him, bro, but come on, man. He has a live-ass name, and he in a group with a live-ass name, bro. He like old dirty bastard in the Wu-Tang Clan. Hey, bro, this movie got dark as fuck. I love it. Nine out of ten. I swear to God.